Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So today I want to repot my Ludicia orchids. They really need some attention and some cleaning up. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to put them in a bigger pot because they are starting to hang over. Uh, so they might need a little bit bigger pot, like I said, a little bit more room, especially this one. And we're also going to uh, clean up and repot that one. These been in those pots for years. <laughs> and always after they bloom, they start to uh, die off parts at least. And then we have a lot of new growth. But still, it might be that they do get a little bit too much light. So after repotting, I will put them in that corner. So they have a little bit more room between the light and the plant, plant itself. So they do get a little less light and I hope I can then keep more of those canes. They keep on dying off and then start to shoot new ones. So I have them for years, they do this uh, quite often. Maybe it's a, a habit of the Lodicias, I, I see that more often, but still I think I could do a little bit better with the lighting. It's, I think they are a little too close to the light, so uh, that's uh, going to change as well. But first of all, we need to uh, take them out of the pot. I'm going to clean it up and just have a look uh, at, uh, at what we work with. I have no idea, to be honest. So I'm going to uh, set everything up here and then uh, we will have a closer look at them. Okay, and here is the first one. This is actually my biggest one. Well, we have quite some ferns in there that I would like to take out because these are starting to take over the pot. But also, I not sure if you can see it but there here there you see some spider webs <laughs> and there as well so yeah i hope there are no spiders in there i'm not really a big fan of spiders especially the, the big ones but anyhow we shall see <laughs> first uh, let me grab the tag Red stripe, yes, 118. So yeah, it's been in this pot for uh, quite a while. Uh, let me first start with a bit of a clean up and just cutting off the old flower spikes. That may also uh, give this plant a little bit of a better look to it. But yeah, I, I try to uh, maintain more leaves next time. I always lose the leaves. Yeah, it's something that they apparently do, but still, who knows? I might keep a little bit, a few more. Not sure, but... And I thought, yeah, it might be a bit of a longer video, but I never did a video on them. As you just saw, it was uh, quite a while uh, when I did repot them. It was even before I started making uh, videos about my orchids. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, this is a nice opportunity to include them as well. I, I like them, but I'm not a huge fan of dual orchids. But like I said, a few of them I like to have because of the beautiful leaves. But yeah, it's not like a Miltoniopsis. <laughs> but still, they are quite fun to grow. But I, I do not do not really like the look of this, those older leaves. So I hope I can, uh, can avoid that. Let me cut off a few of them. It's really old leaves yeah. like I said it's, it's been in this spot for quite a while so a bit of a cleanup will not hurt it I think we have quite some older leaves here so yeah I think it's uh, time to uh, give this a proper cleanup plus a new home it's a fairly big orchid, so it might uh, take a while. Oops. There we go. To, uh, but yeah, it's nice to uh, have a little bit of a video on it, of course, so we can see what I'm doing and I can also do updates. In the near take future. quite a while. I see, saw a few little spiders running, <laughs> so though, uh, those I don't do not mind that much, but. The bigger ones, I'm not really a fan of, especially uh, because of last year. I've been bitten uh, by one last year. Just one. Uh, I, I was walking uh, through the garden and there was one. 
and uh, yeah it wasn't uh, very pleasant i uh, must admit so yeah i'm not a big fan of spiders never was but now uh, even less <laughs> but anyhow they are uh, doing a great job of course collecting pests etc but anyhow here we are i think uh, well there's still some to take off i probably will miss a few more but there was just quite a quite a lot to take off and i already have let me see if i can these are really dry begins because now we need to take it out of the pots <sighs> Let me check. Maybe I can first get it out of the outer pot. Just to see. Not much there, but I wasn't expecting much there, to be honest. So yeah, I have it in self-watering. In peat and pumice, I believe. And now... Oh, you guys, how am I going to do this? How, how? probably going to break some canes but they will shoot out again so that's not a problem but yeah taking it out can you, you see what i do yeah i think you can <laughs> so yeah i try to uh just to find a start push my fingers in the media and pull it a little bit and hopefully i can make it move yes I can, but maybe keep it a little bit more upside down. Oops. Yeah, I think I broke a cane. That wasn't my intention, but yeah, still. <laughs> that wasn't that bad, actually. I might have broken this one off. Yeah, I did. Yeah, this one broke in the process. <laughs> but this will uh, still can shoot out, so I put it to the side. But yeah, we will. Uh, we have some roots here. So let me uh, grab this so you can see it. So yeah, this is look pretty nice, actually. So I'm not going to uh, remove all the media, but I will try to uh, get rid of some of these ferns because Otherwise, like I said, this will uh, take over the pot. And that's not what I uh, want, of course. I did pro uh, apparently a uh, bottom layer of uh, Lekka back in the days. Yeah, here's another part, small part that, that broke off. And here's another one. Anyhow, let me see. Can I take this out here? Yes. Bit of bigger fern here, close to a spider web. So I first need to check if I uh, have any visitors that I don't want there. <laughs> it looks oh, okay. So yeah, probably not going to take the roots with me, but at least we uh, made some room. A lot of. Uh, Teeny tiny uh, new growths I can see on the way, so that's a good sign. Those will have more room now to grow. But I still have some ferns that I want to take out. Let me get you a closer look at the rhizomes going on. You can see a lot of rhizomes, so a lot of growth there. And yeah, this one just needed a, a bigger pot for sure. And I also see a fern here. And this is what, what happens sometimes. <laughs> they do fall off. Very large pot, as you can see. I will put a, a layer of uh, pumice, a big pumice underneath there, so the, the actual peat will not go through those holes here. That is a little bit easier. So let me do that first. Here they are. And then I have another mixture. Like I said, first a nice layer of the pumice.
just like this. Uh, let me check. Do I want more? No, I think it's enough. And this is just a regular bead mass bead, and I did uh, mix in some bigger, some larger uh, pumice and some sm smaller pumice. So that's the media we're going to use. These like uh, the more peat stuff, the uh, Ludicias, they are uh, terrestrials. So they do not need as much air around the roots. So therefore we, uh, or at least I do <laughs> like to use this mixture. But I keep it a little bit um, uh, easily drained. So therefore I uh, use a little bit of uh, pumice in this case. So I'm going to put a little bit uh, to the side, a little bit of this media. Like this, so we get a little bit of a hole here. I can put the arc in. Do I need more? Let me check. I'm going to lift it. No, this is uh, about right. Yes. I try to uh, let these get in contact with the media as much as I can. Uh, let me quickly check. Maybe I want to move it a little bit more to this side of the pot, like this. So these have a little bit more room to grow. Put a, a little bit of media underneath there. And let's start filling this up. And then we can. Uh, plant the uh, divisions <laughs> we accidentally made but it happens with these large ludicias and it's not a problem and they need to be uh, in contact with the uh, with the media the uh, rhizomes and then they will shoot out uh, roots but like i said they are terrestrial so they need to be in contact with the uh, with the media. So that's what we try to do here. I'm going to get a little bit more of uh, the peat moss because I'm running out. So I will be right back. <laughs> so I'm back. This is the more regional uh, peat. Peat moss stuff that you uh, can find in the garden center. Uh, let me put in a little bit of that um, pumice. And put it in there. Let me get a clean, clean one. Here we go. Oops. Just a few scoops in there. Uh, yeah, no, no. This is the uh, small pumice, as you can see. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't matter that much. Smaller, bigger. I think the smaller is a bit better because this is a terrestrial. So you don't, you don't want to create too much air holes. So therefore, I most of the times use more of the smaller pumice. Let me mix that a little bit. So, and the ratio will be 70% peat and 30%. Pumice, I think, I guess. <laughs> it's not that important, I think, but just for if you're wondering how much I think that's the ratio. Let me lift the, those new words a little bit. There we go. So yeah, I think we can use a little bit more media still here. Yep, 
Yeah, Ludi says I don't think they do uh, like it too warm. So I have them in the orchid room on the floor. So uh, intermediate, I think, to the cooler intermediate sides, I believe. And yeah, they are not that difficult to grow, but I like to, uh, like I said, I should do a bit, a little bit better on the leaves, I think. So I think they were really <laughs> needed a repot just to freshen things up a little bit. And especially give them a little bit more room. So I think that was the important part. But we shall see in the near future. Yeah. Let's put a little bit more in here. So we can make, like I said, better contact with the media. There we go. So yeah, that's a bit different this time because I normally only use uh, organic, uh, inorganic media, of course. <laughs> But yeah, with this one, this is the only one that I have with beads. Let me check. Yeah, the terrestrial. The rest is uh, well, actually, my Sibidiums. They have their. They come in a peat uh, set up uh, in a, a pot with peat, and I take them out and then put them in, as you uh, probably saw or may have seen on one of my Symbidium uh, repotting videos. But that's the only uh, one that I, I just leave the media on there because otherwise I break the roots, so many roots, and those can take it. But in the Ludicius, but the rest is all uh, pumice these days. Some are still a bit in uh, Lekka, but at least it's inorganic. Yeah, I think we are almost there. Let me uh, cut out a few of the leaves that I missed. There we go. A few here, there. Let's take those off. There's still some leaves there that are red, but it's okay. Can uh, take them off later on, but I want to have most of them off so they uh, the new growths do get a little bit more light instead of these uh, older leaves blocking the light. <laughs> so there we go. Now I need to uh, put back in those parts that did fell off. Uh, of course, taking these off. So yeah, where they have the notes, these parts, you will uh, probably get some new roots if you put it on top of the media and somewhere it will sprout out and maybe it will give even more uh, new growth. But I just put it here on the edge of the pot so it can, uh, it's in, nice in contact with the media and it can, it can basically start shooting out again. <laughs> oh, this is a nice example. You see here, coming a new growth. It has new leaves from uh, from a note there. Uh, let me find a nice spot for you guys. Somewhere around here might be fine. <laughs> I have a nice clean area here that can use some growing. This is a, the big part that it fell off. Yeah, let, let's make a bit of a hole here. Something like that. Put that rhizome a little bit in the media and the rest on top of it, like this. And it should be good enough. Just a little bit more media. Here I can use a little bit more media there as well. So yeah, like I said, it might be getting a bit of a longer video, but I just want to do it, so I hope you like it. Because these guys are not often uh, in my videos. Actually, like I said, yeah, I did a blooming update once on them, or at least they were in a update, I should say. 
But here again, it's the start of a new growth there. And we have two here. And this is a root, yes. Um, let me find a nice spot for you. Yeah, here. So I can put that root in the media. So it can hopefully continue to grow. There you go. We do have more broken parts. <laughs> broken off. So you can go there. Should be fine. Very small part, but still it's alive. So I don't want to throw it away. We have more, yes we have more. And here you can see some roots starting. There's some pointy things there, and even with my thumb. So this is a beautiful rhizome with a new growth. So that one definitely needs a spot in this new pot. <laughs> Let's put it like this, nicely covered with the media. And what do we have here? Yeah, also a very teeny tiny part, but also some roots starting, some nice thin leaves, so uh, tiny leaves. Let's put it just here at the, uh, the edge of the pot. I even have more. So let me, oops, there was already one. <laughs> um, here, yes, you can go here, there you are. And this is the last part. Just cleaning that up. Yeah, we already have some roots starting there. Yeah, I'm gonna put you here. Oops, something like that. A little bit of media there because the roots were already starting there. So there you go. Let me check. Yes. So uh, this is the first one. I'm going to put it to the side and we uh, will uh, grab the Alba version. And then uh, we do the same procedure. <laughs> yeah, so uh, like I said, same uh, procedure. This one is just a little bit smaller. So maybe I uh, can do this a little bit quicker. Uh, like I said, this is the Alba version. Same type of flowers, but just it's a beautiful uh, green leaves and those do look a little bit better, but they weren't as close to the the lamps, to the artificial lamps or, uh, or lights, I should say. So probably that is what I uh, needed to change to keep them a little bit more nicer to look at and don't lose as much leaves. But I th because I think that in previous years it did happen, the same sort of procedure happens. You have a cane, it matures and then it starts to bloom. And then some leaves go back while it's also starting new, uh, uh, new growth. But yeah, this time, especially with the other one, I did lose quite a lot of leaves. Discoloration there, so I think it was due to the lights. But who knows, we will uh, see, and therefore uh, I think it's fun to, uh, to film these guys so we can do uh, updates on them and you have a better... Uh, <laughs> Whoops, there goes a part of the plant. They do break off, but this one was already starting to uh, break off, as you can see. But anyhow, so uh, it's nice to do updates. We have a nice uh, start, uh, basically, of... Uh, these plants. I hope that does make sense. I think it, it does. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I didn't film them before, so that's uh, it's very nice. Whoops, yeah. This one wasn't breaking off, but that's uh, still a, a piece that can shoot out. Sometimes I think a leaf is just a <laughs> little uh, looser than it actually is and then you break those canes very easily 
but it's not the end of the world but I'm not trying to uh, break off too much because again I do like uh, the bigger larger plants instead of a lot of divisions in general so also with my uh, rhodesias uh, let me check yeah some older leaves here just whoops see that's what's happening still attached i see uh, a beautiful new shoot here it's a nice time to uh, do this the repotting so those at least those new shoots should uh, also bring new roots if we might break a few while we uh, try to repot this orchid or as objects a little bit so the new media things that can happen we at least have uh, new growths on the way personally i really like this one uh the green on the leaves i i tend to like alba versions a bit more i'm not sure why but even with this one this one hasn't uh, yellow blooms or anything but i yeah, do like the the greener leaves so yeah we're almost there you guys let's do this and that one a few older leaves on there is not the end of the world but so yeah i'm going to uh, clean my trade and then uh, we're going to try to get this uh, out of the pot as well and i try not to break any uh, canes anymore but yeah we shall see how it goes <laughs> where to, to start probably here Wait don't want to break anything but no. let's go and see how this works so i try to uh, get my hand in between the media and the roots and the orchid and then i gently start to lift it out let's see if we can get any movement in there i basically have it upside down now so i'm going to need to turn it around yeah there you go part breaking off this is may have more even more roots thicker roots I'm not sure getting it out is not so easy are you attached what is to the pot It's easy, there it is. There was. Well, not even all of it. <laughs> Some parts are attached apparently, so this one has a little bit more roots. Oh, yeah. So, slowly but surely getting it out. Yeah, look at that. I saw some very healthy roots. Let me put this to the side. So yeah. <laughs> we ended up with a few more pieces, but I did manage to take this whole piece out. But yeah. Uh, what is this? These parts did fell off. Not the end of the world. Let me uh, clean them up while I have them in my hand. I could make divisions. Yeah, look at this. But I'm not into, uh, not really into that for this one. But yeah, beautiful roots. So this one seems to root a little bit easier or better than the other one. Maybe I don't know, of course, what's going on inside of that clump. But I, uh, and I'm going to leave it like it is. Same uh, story. Some lacquer on the bottom some peat moss stuff and this is um come on how do you call it i know it i know it i know it oh, stupid i cannot remember it yeah i know it's in my mind it's uh the perlite there it is <laughs> sorry but i uh, use perlite apparently for this one Maybe at the other one, but I didn't notice it. But this one has quite a, some perlite in there, which is okay. But I don't use per whoops, perlite anymore. 
So, again, we start with a bottom layer of the bigger pumice. So the media will not fall out. A layer. Where are those pieces that I did? Yeah, here is one. Up there you go. So yeah, I'm going to put a layer in of this media. Quite a bit. And I need to uh, fill that up in a minute. I can see. These pots are fairly big, so I <laughs> use quite a lot of media, but then again, I hope I don't have to repot them for uh, another four years. <laughs> that would be nice. So yeah, let's uh, put this in a second use. Everything. And I need even more. Quite some new media again. This should be enough. Put in a little bit more. I think we can use a little bit more. This one doesn't have much as much media left on the root system as the other one did, so it should be fine. Okay, now I need to lift it and put it in here. You see, I can use a little bit more media in the middle now otherwise it's a little bit too low in the pot let me see it's making it feels like making a bird nest <laughs> some sort of bird nest anyhow Yes, this is better. This is better. So some media underneath there. Like that. Yeah. There you go. So we can now start to uh, fill it up even more. New media. Like I said, it's just the uh, same procedure like the other one. <laughs> there we go. Yes. There goes quite some media in these uh, pots. But that means they are fairly big and it was... Uh, the intention, of course, <laughs> to give them quite some room to grow, so I don't have to uh, repot them anytime soon again, because these don't like repotting, and as you saw, you break those skins so, so easily. So yeah, and I don't like to uh, repot these guys. If I don't have to, and I don't like... Uh, 20, 30 or 40 or even more uh, divisions. <laughs> I just uh, want to have a nice pot full of these uh, very nice growing canes. And like we said before, try to make uh, them even a bit nicer because it should be doable, I think. But anyhow, so far so good. And we have quite some room here. Oh, I did forget this part. That's not the end of the world, but this one is has quite some uh, roots. We just saw earlier on in this video, but let's put it here. So it can uh, continue to grow. I'm not pushing it too much. It may, it may look like it, but it's not too much. Because otherwise I will broke, break those roots. And that's not what we want. Let me see. Yeah, I have a fairly large cane here. This one can, that part can come off. Yeah, let me cut off quickly that uh, 
hot flower spike. And then you can see that we already have here, just above my finger, a new growth starting. And some notes here, new roots, so it should be fine. So I try to get it flat in the pot like this. So uh, those new eyes are very close to the media. Grab a little bit more media, put it over there. So it starts to root a little bit easier. I don't uh, put that new growth on the, the media, of course. It's up the media, not under in the media, or in the media. <laughs> but just like that. So it will turn around, I think, and then grow more upwards. upwards. Let me see. Oh, three more. Same story, this one is starting to show some nubbins, root nubbins, so put them in there. And let me take this one, same story here. So I'm going to put you here. So we have some room to grow. Let me see, I have this, this part I just broke off. But also this one has some notes, root notes. So we're going to use it, give it a chance. Uh, no, I'm going to put you here. Oh, here's, <laughs> can't remember. Here, this is a nice spot. Let me put it like this. There you go. Let me quickly check here. Yes. Yeah, I think this is it. So now it looks uh, way smaller. <laughs> I'll stick still a nice size to it, of course, but uh, yeah, you can see. Now we have a uh, room for it to grow again. So I'm going to uh, put it uh, into his new place there and we, I will grab the camera from the tripod and we'll have a less close up at these beauties. So let's have a look. Here they are. They really do look freshed up, <laughs> freshening up. But uh, yeah, before I forget to mention, what you also want, also want to look after is if you water them, don't uh, wet the leaves or don't let them, the leaves become too wet for too long. They don't like that as well. And direct sunlight. So I have them on the ground here. So they will uh, do not get direct light. And also the artificial light needs to be probably quite a, quite a, a bit further away from them in comparison to other orchids. So that's what I did this time. So let's see how uh, they do. But yeah, it was quite uh, quite something to do actually because I knew I would break off some uh, some uh, new canes or at least some canes, I should say. But I think overall we did fine. But anyhow, this, uh, these were my uh, DC orchids. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And like I said, it's now nice to uh, do an update uh, in three months or so. So we have a, a beginning, a start, and then we can refer to that and see uh, how they will uh, develop. So uh, like usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you didn't uh, already have, please consider subscribing to my channel and maybe give this a video a, th a thumbs up. <laughs> Here we go. And uh, yeah, of course, I hope to uh, see you at one of my uh, next videos. Thank you for watching and bye bye.